Okay, we are back with Walking Dead. So we're doing part two. Um, so you may notice it says episode two. And you may even notice, when I go into rewind, it's up to chapter six. I had to film and delete a whole video. I don't know why I said delete like that. But I had to film and delete a whole video because halfway through, the audio got completely and utterly corrupted like 100% corrupted, static out the ass, um, but we're back, we're gonna finish this off, uh, and then later I'll record three, four, five, maybe even 400 days, um, so yeah, that was a fun experience, also, part 7 of Payday 2 desynced, this is just gonna be the previously, so I'm just gonna talk through it, uh, also, I increased the character dialogue volume and lowered everything else. Oh, it's not giving me a previously. Good. Oh, maybe it's because I played through it already. What'd they get this time? Uh, looks like a rabbit. <sighs> well, that's another meal lost. <sighs> I still can't believe we went through all that commissary food in three months. It seemed like so much at the time. Maybe you shouldn't have opened the door. Yeah, except then I'd probably be food by now. Trust me, I have no regrets. Uh, rabbit's hardly a meal, Mark, but I'd take it. We're all hungry. No kidding. Last night, I heard your friend Doug laying in bed just naming types of pie. It was driving me nuts. I think he's starting to lose it. He's not the only one. Won't you cut him some slack? Yeah, you're right. I wish I knew for sure how much food we have left. Not enough. According to Lily, we've just about hit the last of our food reserves. Some people might have to go without tonight. You mean Lily's lottery again? Kenny's gonna be pissed. She thinks everyone should have an equal chance of missing a meal. You think Kenny's having any more luck than we are out here? I sure hope so. Yeah, between the lack of food and Kenny and Lily fighting all the time, things are getting pretty tense back at the motor inn. You know, Kenny's been talking about taking off if he can get that RV running. He's got a wife and son to look out for. And they're safest in a big group. Going out on his own will get them all killed. Can't blame him, though. Did you hear Larry going off on him last night? What's the old guy's deal, anyway? Seems like he's got a problem with you in particular. He's just an old racist asshole. That's his deal. Well, he needs to get over that and start finding a way to pull his weight. Our problems are not, we should all be out here trying to find food. And I know Lily thinks he's getting weaker, but the guy's all muscle. He's a walking pile driver. I know I wouldn't want to be stuck in a room with him. And didn't he punch you in the face one time? Uh, knock me flat. Shit! Was that Kenny? I don't know. Come on! Jesus Christ. Oh shit, no, no, please don't kill us. We just want to help our teacher, we'll leave, I swear. Lee, you guys okay? Get, get it off, get it off, goddammit, get, get it off me. 
Travis, maybe they can help. These might be the same guys that raided our camp and we barely got away from that. What guys? Why the fuck is there a bear trap out here? Who raided your camp? I, I don't know, guys with guns. Please, we won't bother you, I swear. Lee, this is fucked up, we've gotta help him. Please. Ben, shut up. My dad was special forces, I know what I'm doing. Just see if you can get him out. After that, you can leave us or whatever. I don't care. Please. Was he bitten? Bitten? No, I swear. <laughs> hurry, please, hurry. <laughs> Lee, this trap has been altered. There's no release latch. Oh, no. Shit. Walkers! It's now or never, Lee. Please! Get me out of this. Mark, get the boys back. Kenny, keep those walkers off of me. Oh, God, oh, God, Damn, oh, God. This is bad. Really bad. Lee, do Just something! Get me out, please! All that blood and screaming? Oh, We're God, gonna be surrounded any die. minute. Please! Get... Try to cut the chain! Oh, God. Gonna have to cut you out. No, no, no! Try the trap again! Let's Anything, go! Let's please. go! Has to be now. Yeah, sorry, but your legs gotta go. It's in the way. Yeah, he just cut off his fucking leg. We don't have time for that. I'm sorry, but we have to go now. Oh uh, God! Shit! Is he? He passed out. Alive, grab him and let's go. Behind you, Travis. Come on, come on, we gotta move. No! See, some people are just determined not to live. Some people just don't want to let those walkers were far. He could have just like briskly walked and got away. I mean, tripped on nothing. Get the gates open! We've got wounded! Shit! What the hell are they doing? Come on! Come oh on! Oh my god! What happened? Oh, what the hell are these? Don't Wait. have time to explain. Please, Shit! Are you okay? Get him into the truck. I'll see what I can do. Cat! Okay? Can you fix him? Jesus, Ken! Lee! I, I don't know! Lee! What the hell? You can't just be bringing new people here! What are you thinking? Hey, you wanna calm down for a fucking hey, minute? No, I don't! I want to know why you thought bringing more mouths to feed was a good idea. He would have died if we left him. So what? We are not responsible for every struggling survivor we come across. We have to focus on our group, right here, right now. Come on, Lily, these are people. People trying to survive just like us. We've got to stick together to survive. The only reason you're here is because you had food. Enough for all of us. But that food is almost gone. We've got maybe a week's worth left. 
And I don't suppose you guys are carrying any groceries, are you? Um, no. Fine, you guys fight it out then. <sighs> Welcome to the family, kid. Come over here and see what I drew. Wait, what? No, I... Just come on, okay? You know, you like to think you're the leader of this little group, but we can make our own goddamn decisions. This isn't your own personal dictatorship. Hey, I didn't ask to lead this group. Everyone was happy to have me distributing the food when there was enough to go around, but now that it's running out, suddenly I'm a goddamn Nazi. Kenny's right. Yeah, you're in charge of the food and the schedules, but you're not in charge of people's lives. Really? You weren't there. Lee made a choice. End of story. Look, once Katja patches that guy up, you can kick him out of here. Send him out on their own. I couldn't care less. But they at least deserve a fighting chance against the Walkers. And for the record, Kenny wanted to leave those people behind. If Kenny would pull his head out of his ass for five seconds, he'd realize that I make these decisions to protect his family. We simply don't have enough food. I don't see any of you stepping up to make the hard decisions. My girl's got more balls than all of you combined. Dad, please. Why don't you go help Mark with the wall? You know what? If you well, think I'm doing knuckles. such a shitty job, then you do it. That's all the food we have for today. You decide who gets to eat. Well, no, I'm serious. Pick up that food and start handing it out. You see how it feels to not have enough food for everyone. Hey, Doug. <clears throat> ah. What's up, Lee? What are you working on, Doug? I've worked up a little warning system for outside. How does it work? I set up trip lines at four locations, and each one triggers one of these four bells. So... So we'll know where they are and how long we have. Smart. Think Katja can save that guy? Maybe. I mean, I know about computers, but that doesn't mean I can fix a calculator. But you probably could fix a calculator. Well, yeah. Good point. Don't suppose I could interest you in some food. Actually, why don't you keep my share today? I know I said it didn't matter why you saved me and not Carly, but... I owe you a lot more than half a day's rations. Hey, if Doughboy doesn't want his food, hand it this way. It doesn't work like that. I'll decide who gets the food. I'll decide smart. You don't really want to piss me off, do you? I mean, a little bit. Will you hold the damn board steady? I'm trying. I, I didn't realize I was getting this weak already. What do you want? A handout? Uh, I got 60 cents in my pocket. If you'll shut up and quit being such a pansy. Hey, you holding up okay, Lee? I was pretty fucked up back there, having to cut that guy's leg off. Yeah, I just hope Kadja can save him. Lily's pretty pissed at us. Listen, I know her intentions are good, but... But nothing! She's making the smart choice. Those parasites you guys brought back need to go. You ever miss the Air Force Base? I mean, this wall isn't exactly military standard. No way I'm going back there. You saw what it was like when you guys picked me up. Completely overrun. Here, eat something. 
Thanks, Lee. Need any help with the wall? Nope. Actually, we could use your axe. Do you mind if we take it? Yeah, give us that thing for a bit. Well, obviously, I'm gonna give it to Mark, so I don't trust Larry worth a Here, damn. Mark, this should help. You know, kind of nice. punched me. Hey, I'm the one doing all Almost the work got me over killed. here. You didn't think to give me the axe? Come on, Larry. Give it a rest, man. Things are different. Being a racist is outdated. Oh, and that's what you think this is? Is that what you told him? Yeah, that's right. And what are you going to do about it? Look, I don't care what it is, but you two have got to start trying to get along. The only thing I have to do is protect my daughter. And right now, that means getting this damn wall fixed. So I would appreciate it if you two would shut up and let me get back to work. How you doing, Clementine? Okay. Where's your hat? I don't know. Can you help me find it? Sure. When did you lose it? I had it a couple days ago. I promise. If I find it, I'll let you know. Thank you. Okay, Clem. I've got to take care of some things. Why don't you go back to playing with Duck for a while? Okay. How you doing, Clementine? Everything all right? Yeah. Is that man going to be okay? I think he'll be fine. Oh, that's good. I'm so hungry, Lee. I hope I get to eat soon. <laughs> Why do you have to stand up and then kneel back down again? That thing doesn't work anymore, does it? No, not since it broke at the drugstore. Just gonna hold on to it then? Yeah, if that's okay. I, um, I need it. It's okay, hon. You said they'd find us. I know, I did. And until then... Look, uh, Clementine. I'm not stupid, Lee. I know it's just pretend. But it makes me feel better. Okay, you take good care of it then. I will. Here, Clem. You need something to eat. Okay. A Sunday would be better next time. <laughs> <laughs> I'll keep Good that in mind. Piece of shit. If you have any more food, Duck is hungry too. Yeah, why don't we get some food? Hey, Duck. How about a little food? Here. Oh, heck yes! Is there peanut butter? What do you think, Duck? No, probably not. Uh, some of these people have gone longer than me without food. They're the ones that need it. Word's getting out that you want to leave the motor in. That ain't no secret, Lee. It's probably our best bet. Look, you've been good to me and my family. You saved Duck from those monsters, and you stood up to Larry at the drugstore. I won't forget that. You and Clem are welcome Extra to come space, with us. I won't forget that. The coast does sound like a smart idea. Maybe that is the best thing. I know that it is. I'm taking my family. Thanks for buying me time to get that guy out of the bear trap back there. I can't believe you cut off his leg. I don't know if I could have done it. I didn't have a choice. Was that or the walkers? Want something to eat? Here, Kenny. Take this. How about my boy? He eat yet? Yeah, I gave him something. Sure, then hand it over. I'm starved. Thanks.
Not such an easy job, is it? Never said it was. <laughs> oh, there's their glitch camera angle. angle. I don't know how you have the strength to do this every day. I don't have a choice. Hey, thanks for looking out for me and my family. I'm serious about that offer to come with us. You've more than earned a ride on the RV with me. Still, I guess some people aren't going to be happy with your choices. You're out! What happened to my food? There's no uh, you left. punched me in the face you earlier. Treating people like this, and your days in this group are numbered. You're one to talk, old man. Yeah, well, I don't see you working on that wall. You know, I can make some joke about can a shouting be? old racist here, building a wall. He didn't make but it. But I'm not going to do that he because I feel like that's blood. beneath me. God damn it. I'm getting sick of this shit. Ken, come back. There's nothing... Let him go, Katja. But... He just needs time. It's been a rough morning. That man you brought, I tried. But he was never going to survive. Well, at least he's not our problem anymore. What about the other kid? Ah, quick time vent snow. Stop that. The axe! Hurry! Move, move! Shit, it's stuck! I got him! Thanks. No problem. We gotta watch each other's backs, right? Why'd you bring him here in the first place, asshole? Dad, calm down. You're gonna get us all killed! You said he wasn't bitten! What? We asked you point blank was he bitten, and you said no! He wasn't! Well, your not bitten friend here came back to life and tried to kill my wife! What? Wait, you all don't know? What the hell are you talking about? It's not the bite that does it. You come back no matter how you die. If you don't destroy the brain, that's just what happens. It's gonna happen to all of us. We're all infected? Everyone? I... I guess so. I don't know. I... All I know is that I've seen people turn who I know were never bitten. When I first saw it happen, we were all hiding out in a gym, and everybody thought we were finally safe. But one of the girls, Jenny Pitcher, I think, I guess she couldn't take it. She took some pills. A lot of them. Someone went in the girls' room the next morning, and... God. Doug, it works. Of course it works. I told you. Shit, where'd this string come from? Watch where you're walking, man. Who are those people? I don't know. Are they the people that raided your camp? I don't think so, but they all had their faces covered, so I don't know. There's just two of them. We need to make a stand. No, we have a routine. We don't confront them if we don't have to. You all right? Yeah, just getting untangled. I don't know how you're still alive, man. Sorry, Lily. We gotta do this. That's far enough. Oh, shit. Uh, okay, okay. Uh, no problem. We don't want any trouble. Of course. Uh, n neither do we. Uh, I'm Andy St. John. This here's my brother, Dan. We're just out looking for gasoline. Looks like you folks got the motel locked down, which, which is fine, but... Uh, if you could spare any gas, well, we'd be much obliged. What do you need gas for? Our place is protected by an electric fence. Generators provide the electricity. 
Our generators run on gas. Look, we own a dairy farm a few miles up the road. If, if y'all be willing to lower your guns, we, we can talk about some kind of trade. How y'all doing on food? We got plenty at the dairy. Lee, why don't you and Mark check the place out? See if it's legit. I'll go too. Improve the numbers in case we run into anything dead. So, uh, what are y'all thinking? You've got a deal. We'll bring some gas to your dairy. In exchange, you give us some food to bring back. We'll see how it goes from there. Sounds fair. A couple gallons should power one of our generators for a while. So, this dairy, you guys really have food? Sure do. We lost most of the cattle, but we still have lots of milk, butter, and cheese stocked up. And with the vegetables we grow, we got plenty of food. Thanks for coming along, Doug. Sure. I'd like to get a look at that electric fence they talked about. It might give me some ideas for something I can rig up at the motor end. Can an electric fence really stop walkers? Well, as long as the walkers aren't completely dehydrated and the fence has enough juice, yeah, it seems plausible. The electricity basically cooks you from the inside out, right? I guess so. So, if a walker stays in contact with the fence, it'll eventually cook its brain. It probably takes a while, though. And that can't be a good smell. Unless it smells like jerky. Man, I could go for some jerky. Ugh, I shouldn't have turned down that food you offered me earlier. <laughs> that is one runaway train of thought. <laughs> Sorry. What's that you got there? Oh, nothing. It's just a laser pointer I picked up during our last trip to the drugstore. I mean, thank God Lee showed up when he did. Right, Lee? Yeah, why don't you tell us a little more about yourself, Lee? Where are you from? I grew up in Macon. Right here in the heart of Georgia. That's what I like to hear. Y'all seem pretty settled in at that motor in. Uh, who's running things over there? We work as a group. All of us looking out for each other. I hear that. There's so many dumbasses out there fighting each other these days. It's just stupid. How many people you got over there anyway? Enough to defend ourselves. Well, that's good. It's getting dangerous out there. Well, you guys know. Well, we'd love to get you all out to the dairy. Like I said, we got plenty of food, and quite frankly, we could always use an extra helping hand. In the summers, I used to help out on a goat farm. Yeah, that's great. Everything helps. Mama's been running the dairy for, well, as long as I can remember, but uh, now it's... You getting... think you're going to cut me out of this? Shit, get down. No one's trying to cut you out of anything. You and Gary are always pulling this shit. Bandits. Who? Those look like the people who oh, raided man, my camp. Who are they? Shh. Fuck you. Fucking you knew we were hungry. And you guys were keeping it all for yourself. What should we do? Yeah, and you know what? We ate it all. What are you going to fucking do about it? Don't worry. Danny and I got you covered if something happens. But let's just wait this out and hope they move on. Fuck you! <laughs> Fuck you! Oh, shit! Well, Asshole. I guess he took that personally. The world out here has gone to shit. Come on, let's get to the dairy where it's safe. I love how Andy rotated right there without ever once moving his feet. Like, just a complete 180 without ever once lifting a foot. Here it is, St. John Family Dairy. <laughs> Y'all can see how we kept this place so safe. The fence keeps them out? <laughs> you betcha. They fry like bugs in a zapper. We're pushing 4,000 volts through that thing with generators and amps. Oh, wow. You guys must know a thing or two about running wire. Had a guy who did, yeah. Ever have any accidents? Nah. It's safer here than out there. Oh, wow. You've got enough electricity to run the whole place. It's worth protecting. Hence all the juice. I thought I saw y'all with company coming down the drive. Guys, this is our mama. I'm Brenda St. John, and welcome to the St. John Dairy. This here's Lee. He's from Macon. A couple of our old farmhands were from Macon. They grow them good there. 
They got a few more friends staying at the old motel. Oh my goodness, that place is pretty vulnerable. Have you got someone with survival experience to lead your group? We all work together. Plus, we've got plenty of people with military experience. Well, that's good to hear. That motel ain't the safest place. Now that y'all are here, we'll make sure you're safe and comfortable. Thanks for having us. We brought some gasoline on good faith. We're starved. These are for y'all. Baked fresh this morning. Holy moly! Sorry. Can't get stuff like that anymore. Not without a cow for milk and butter, that's for sure. That's right. Hopefully Maybell will make it through this bout of whatever she's got and be with us for a good long while. Your cow is sick? What's she... We have a vet. We could bring her here. We can help you folks out. A vet? Oh my! Our prayers have been answered! Maybe our whole group could come. For the day. Well, how about this? Y'all go get your veterinary friend, and I'll prepare some dinner. A big feast for all you hungry souls. It'll be nice to have some folks to help out around here again. Danny, why don't you come help me out in the kitchen? Why don't I head back with the food and round up everyone for the trip back here? Might want to take someone with you. Remember, those roads can be dangerous. No problem. Ben can come with me. Take this. All right. See you later. Mark, Lee, why don't you take a look around? Once you get settled in, I could use some help securing the perimeter. Is there a problem? Sometimes the dead get tangled up in the fence before they fry and end up knocking over a post. It'd be a big help if you could walk the perimeter. You can learn a little something about our fence. I'm gonna go top off the generators before they run dry. Come get me when you're ready. You betcha. This place is incredible. It's got food. And that fence? Oh man, that fence. If we play our cards right, this might turn out to be a place we can stay. So how do you want to play this? They're offering us food. We should do whatever we can to make these people like us. The way Brenda was talking, I get the feeling like she'd be happy to have us stay. All the more reason for us not to fuck this up. If Andy needs some help securing the perimeter, then that's what we do. So what's your read on Andy so far? Think they'd be open to letting us stay? Getting the perimeter secured is gonna help us a lot. We'll be getting in good and making this place safer for us. I'm gonna get back to it. Hi. Hi. Well, I'm glad you guys decided to help us out. I noticed back at the motel that you folks are pretty well armed. Been stockpiling, huh? Yeah, if you need some extra people to protect the dairy, you can count on us. Well, hopefully it'll never come to that, but thanks. An electric fence is enough to keep out walkers? Walkers? <laughs> is that what you call them? <laughs> That's good. Uh, the old one wouldn't have, but Mac, he was our foreman. He figured out how to amp it up with the generators. We used to sit out here some nights and watch the sons of bitches sizzle and pop when they got too close. Closest thing to entertainment these days, I guess. These generators are enough to power the whole dairy? We got lots, and we gotta keep trading for fuel as much as we can, but they all work together to do the trick. You know, like us. We can't be the first people you've invited up to the dairy. Well, no, we've made similar deals with other folks. Uh, trading for gas and food, but ultimately they moved on, looking for the people they lost contact with. Mark and I can help you with that perimeter now. Oh, good. The fence will stop a walker in about three or four seconds, but gets overloaded if we leave the husks out there. You know, Mark and I can clear the fence ourselves if you want to stay here and finish up with the generators. <laughs> well, that'd be great. I'll turn off the northwest section, and uh, if you guys could strip them off and look for any weak points, well, that'd be a big help. Sounds easy enough. Stay attentive. You never know.
Do you think we're doing enough to get the St. John's to like us? Well, we don't want to seem over-anxious. Showing them we can handle this fence is gonna go a long way. I can't wait until everyone's out here. Everyone besides Larry. Why the hell did you have to tell him I thought he was a racist? As if tensions weren't high enough. Sorry, man. It just... it popped out. I mean, you did admit it right to his face. We'll work it out somehow. Well, hopefully he'll calm down once he's out here. There's one. Oh god, my creaky ass chair. Ugh. Lee, it's dead. Come on, let's push it off. Maybe the St. John boys are using this guy for target practice? Uh, poor guy. I don't know what got him first, the arrow or the fence. Either way, hope he was already dead. Disgusting. Come on, I'm sure there's still a few more. Once this fence is patched up, this place will be a fortress. God, can you imagine not having to worry about the walkers anymore? A fortress needs people to defend it. We've got enough people. So what's your take on the brothers? They seem to have this place tied down pretty well. What do you mean by that? I don't know. They seem decent enough. I just want you to know that I've got your back if anything goes down. That's all. Thanks. There's another one. I see it. You never get used to the smell, do you? <laughs> nope. Christ. I can't stop thinking about dinner. Thanks for the rations earlier. It's not easy eating in front of the kids, but it's all that's keeping me on my feet right now. I'm hungry too, Mark. Do you think they're gonna be good for it? Dinner for a whole group of people? If they've got as much food as they say, I, I think so. Come on. I think I see where they're getting in. This one must have knocked it over trying to get through. He's tangled up in there pretty good. Come on, help me get this thing back in place so we can get Mr. Crispy off of here. I think we'd get better leverage from the other side. Good idea. <clears throat> Uh, more quick time events. Oh boy. Holy fuck! What just happened? The fences are on! Why the hell would he turn the fence on? He knows we're out here. Ah! Ah! <laughs> what the? Get to the gate! Get down! You asshole! Jesus! We had an agreement! Now you're fucked! Who the fuck is that? No idea! Fuck! Now what? With the fence on that gate, it's our only way out! You didn't deliver the goods! Now we're gonna take what's due! Now there you are, boy! There. Give us the food! Come on, if we can reach the gate, we can get through this fence and back to the house! Ah! They're on the Shit, that hurts! You really think you can fuck with us? Come on now! I already got one of you! Got all the range. Shit! What happened? Oh, shit. It's one of the dead we pushed down earlier. Gonna have to move it. Where's our food, you asshole? You asshole! Uh, uh. Another one? How many of those things did we did push you down? You think you can fuck with us? We yeah, had an agreement. Now you're fucked. I can do this all day. I already got one of you. Oh god. 
not quick time events. You okay? Yeah. Barely. Come on. The gate's right there. You I love how my head's not even behind cover. Like, if they were even remotely accurate, they'd be as they shoot me in the head with an arrow. Let's get out of here. You lucky sons of bitches! Go ahead and run! We ain't going nowhere! What's to stop them from getting in? You kicked the fence open. Those are some dumb bandits. Lee, what's wrong? Uh, uh, I thought this place was safe. Holy shit, are, are you okay? Fucking bandits. They have no right being out here. Oh my lord, what happened to you, sweetheart? It was those bastards in the He's woods. He's got an arrow in his shoulder. I'll be alright once it's out, but god Blind? damn it hurts. Hey, y'all. Mark. Oh my god, what happened? He got shot with an arrow. Christ, are you gonna be okay? Yeah, no shit. Yeah, I'm fine. Again, are you just people blind? Pull it out. Oh no, honey, come on, Brenda's got you. Come on inside now. We'll have you all sorted out. Well, you must be the best. What kind of shit is this? We ran into some people on the way up here. Bandits, I guess. I think it was them that attacked us. They gave us a lot of problems in the beginning. Killed a bunch of our farmhands. We were able to get them to stop by making a deal. You knew about these people? Food for protection. Not like we had much of a choice, but they did stop hassling us. God damn it! Doug said this place was safe. It was just a fluke thing. We can't stop assuming there aren't bad people out there. What the hell do you mean a fluke? It could have happened anywhere. Could have happened to us in the motor inn. Listen, we may have had an agreement with those people, but we will not stand for this shit. Ain't no way we're gonna let those sons of bitches get away with this. You know where these assholes okay, are? Okay, Jesus. They're hard Dan, to pin down, down. But I think I know where at least bit. one of their camps are. When you're ready to go scope out that bandit camp, come find us. Bandits? Are you serious? This place isn't safe. We can't stay here. Not safe? This place is a hell of a lot safer than that motor inn. I think all of us in our guns can handle a couple of punks with bows and arrows. What we need to do is find a way to get our whole group out here to stay. Take this place over if we have to. Whoa, cool your jets there, Rambo. These are nice people. Let's not do anything to get us thrown out before we eat. I'm gonna head out and help Dan deal with these bandits. You guys should try to make friends with Andy and Brenda while I'm gone. Well, that's easy. I got charm coming out of my ass. Yeah, that's real charming, Dad. Where's Ben and Doug? Since Doug ate half the biscuits on the way to get us, I had them stay back. I still don't think we should be trying to stay here, and someone's got to watch the motor in until we get back. Wait, so she left Doug with the rest of the food? Hey, uh, when I remember he seeing half the food they the gave group, him? So I went ahead and fixed that swing while you were out. What? Hope you What's kids like logic? swings. A swing! I love swings! Just like at my treehouse! Come on, Doc! Why don't you kids go and play on the swing, huh? Yeah. Thanks. Anytime. We're looking out for you. Fellas. <laughs> Wait, why was Dan's feet? lips moving? Look, I'm really sorry you almost got killed out there. Uh, we should have told you how dangerous it was. No shit. You saw what they did to your buddy. Nobody's safe here until we start to fight back. But how? The two of us should go out and do some recon. Then we'll all mount up for some revenge. Hell yeah. Who the fuck are these people in the woods? We don't know. We think some of them used to work at the big box up the way. Save lots. Yeah. Anyway, they're nutty as all hell and get mad when they're hungry. So are you ready to head out there and find their camp? We'll go in a few minutes. We just need to check on a few things before we head out. Sure, that's understandable. Talk things over with your group. Just come find us when you're ready. I'll do that. I love how I go all the way around to talk to him instead of just walking two feet. Hey. Hey, Lee. How's it going with the St. John's? Good. 
I was talking to Andy earlier and offered our group's assistance on the dairy. I don't think they have much to protect them besides the fence, though he seemed pretty appreciative. Great. Sounds like they're starting to accept us. Definitely. Did Duck and Katja get here okay? Well, it wasn't easy. Duck didn't look so good on the walk over to this place. Well, if everything works out, maybe he and Katja can have an easier life here. I hope you're right. Duck and Clementine deserve a better life than starving to death at some crappy motel. How you holding up? I hope they feed us, Lee. Soon. On the way over here, I was getting dizzy. Hands shaking, cold sweats. Thought I was gonna pass out. They've got food here. Yeah, but I'm not just talking about one meal, you know? I'm gonna go have a look around. Don't wait too long to help scope out that bandit camp. Sounds like they're pretty amped up about it. This might be a good way to earn their trust. Good idea. Just a uh, duck on the swing, just kicks me in the head. That's the hey, end. Clint, That's the end of the like game. The Credits roll. Yeah, it's fun. Be sure to tell Andy thank you, okay? I will. Will you push me on it? Sure. Happy to push you on the swing. Mind if Clementine takes a turn? All right, Duck. Let Clementine have a try for a bit. Okay. What do you think of the dairy? It's pretty. It reminds me of how things used to look before. Yeah, it does. Do you think things will ever get back to how they were? Yeah. I'm not sure when. One day, things have got to get back to normal. That's good. I hope it's soon. Yeah, me too. Yeah, <laughs> somebody hasn't read the comics. How are you holding up, Clementine? I'm okay, I guess. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm just a little worried about Mark. Is Mark going to be okay? We got lucky out there. It'd have been a lot worse. Are you going to find the people who hurt Mark? Well, we have to make sure they don't hurt anyone else. Be careful. I want you to stay lucky, too. Ever since I met you, I've had good luck, so don't worry. Okay. Don't worry. We're safe here now. As long as the bad people don't get me, too, right? I won't let what happened to Mark happen to you. Promise? I promise. All right, Clem. That's enough for now. Okay. Thanks for pushing me. Of course. It's all yours. Yeah! Okay, Duck. Don't pop a gasket. Okay, let's go do the required thing. Hey, Lee. Change your mind about going out to track down them bandits? Yeah, we gotta work together. <laughs> I never Social said I wasn't. To the hell? I just said give me a couple I'll stay minutes. here and hold down the fort. Remember, we're just doing reconnaissance for now. No use getting ourselves killed. Wait, how'd they just teleport? That's amazing. Are you going now? Yeah, I'll be back soon, Clementine. Please be lucky. I will. See anything? Not yet. I know it's around here. It's got to be close. Here. Oh shit, you found it? Yes, because that's totally what things look like behind the scope. I'm sure it has no reticles. You know, no markers for distance. Just completely telescopic gun scope. You see anybody? S 
stay on your guard. Watch my back, Lee. I'm gonna check out the ten. This camp's too small. It can't be their main base. That's what I was thinking. Take a look around anyway. There's probably some shit around here they stole from us. What's in the boxes? They're all from save lots. The first few days, they told folks to gather to the save lots by the interstate. Anything worth taking? Not unless you need a bunch of empty cans. <sighs> I'll pass. Boxes from the dairy here. Probably the food we've been giving them. Fuckers cross the line. Nothing. Empty. What do you find? A video camera. Let me see that. Battery's dead, though. Oh, good. What else they got over here? Let's see if we can find anything useful and then get a move on. I see you handled that gun I lent you pretty well. You a hunter? No, but Lily keeps us all on a regular training schedule. Lily, huh? Sounds like she's running this democracy of yours. Looks like they were moving a lot of stuff. Put your guns down. I ain't going back. You tell him Jolene ain't going back. Hey, we had a deal. No shooting as long as we gave you food. What the fuck happened? You had a deal with them. I ain't them. Oh, I know you. I know what you are. And I know what you do. You don't know me. Steal my shit. Steal everything from me. We're looking for the people who attacked the dairy and shot my friend. I don't know where they are. But they ain't here. So get the fuck out of my camp. She's lying, Lee. Now maybe you didn't hear me last time. When I asked you, sweet, put your damn guns down. You think I won't kill you? I'm gonna take this here crossbow and put a nice sharp arrow right through your eyeball. And into your goddamn brain. You're not men. You're monsters. All men are monsters. Take what they want and then destroy it all. Take a can of beans. Take a little girl. It's all the fucking same to you. Screw this. Y'all wave them guns like you're looking. Shit! What the hell'd you do that for? She was taking up too much screen time. She was about to shoot us both. You could have just taken her down. You didn't have to kill her. I mean, I know she was crazy, but damn.
It's a clean shot, though. Right through the forehead. That's good shooting right there. Still, what a waste. So, that's it. We going back? If they ain't here, I don't know where they are. And it ain't a good idea to go tromping through the woods looking for them. So yeah, we head back. Once they see this, they'll get the message. Come on. Man, that was a hell of a ride, huh? What? You were a madman back there. Took that crazy bitch down. You're back! What happened? Lee took care of it. Dan seems trustworthy. This isn't what Terry would have wanted. Terry? My husband. Miss him every day. Then screw it up for everybody then, why don't you? Oh, calm down, princess. I'll do it myself. What's going on with them? Don't know. Squabbling, looks like. A lot of tension with y'all, huh? Yeah, you could say that. They don't exactly see eye to eye on how we should be doing things. Well, it's probably just the hunger talking. And Lee? Don't worry your head about them bandits. I'm sorry you've seen more violence than I'd have thought in your short time, but you all are safe here. Don't worry. Think I'll go have a look around. Don't wander too far. Dinner will be ready before you know it. And thank your friend Koch again for me. She and the kids are in the barn with the cow. That woman is a lifesaver. Just readjusting my chair here. If it's too loud, I'll edit out. Okay. My back was killing me sitting in that position. Agony. Talk to these assholes. Hey, so what happened at the camp? Did you guys find any more of those guys that hurt Mark? No, but I shot a lady. We found a woman in the woods. She was talking all crazy with a crossbow pointed right at my head. So I had to kill her. Jesus Christ! Did you at least get some goddamn food? No, nothing. I knew it. It was a mistake coming here. Hey, um. Uh, can I talk to you in private for a second? Okay. It's been three months. Your dad still treats me like I'm some kind of asshole. Yeah, well, don't expect that to change. That's just how he is. Does he treat you like that too? Look, my dad can be an ass sometimes, I know that. But he's not a bad guy. He just, he's got a lot of pain. He's been through so much, and lost pretty much everything. And it's hardened him, you know? Yeah, he's bitter and hateful, but that's all just to protect himself. And me. All he's got left in the world is me. And that goes both ways. So yeah, he's probably gonna keep treating you like crap, but that's just because he still has one thing left to care about. So don't judge him. And don't judge me for sticking by him. He's my dad, and I love him. 
Oh boy, you sound like every abuse victim in the world ever. Did you get the feeling something's going on here? What makes you say that? What exactly happened at the camp? Uh, it's nothing. Uh, don't worry about it. Paranoia just getting to me a little bit. I know what you mean. These backwoods people always give me the creeps. If you ask me, we should just get our dinner and leave. Come on now. We don't want to be rude. What were you and Kenny arguing about when I came back from the camp? He's losing it, Lee. He comes over and starts talking about searching the barn and that these people are hiding something. But you told him to mind his own goddamn business, right? We are guests here, and we don't need to be overstaying our welcome more than we already are. The way I see it, we just need to skip the dinner and get our food to go. But I'm starting to think your friend over there has another agenda. How do you feel about leaving the motor in? It's a welcome change of scenery. I don't know. If we'd just stayed where we were, then Mark wouldn't have ended up with an arrow in his shoulder. I'm gonna go check things out. Just don't get too nosy. These kinds of people are usually pretty protective of their privacy. Yeah, and we don't need you poking your nose where it don't belong and getting us thrown out in our asses. Okay, I guess I have a chance to talk. Um, so yeah, I I have had issues lately uh, with my Elgato. A couple annoying problems. Uh, the biggest of which has been frame drops, and uh, I've had issues where exporting to MP4 files is just causing audio desync. It happened with Payday 2 Part 7, which I, I'm still going to upload, but... I wish I could fix it, but it's not working, which is strange because I uh, exported part 8 and part 8 was fine, but part 7 was just, for some reason, has some audio desync. I don't even know when it started to desync. It seems fine for like the first however long and then, I don't know, just everything goes out of sync. It's okay, Clementine. You can pet her. It's okay. Go ahead. Katya says Mabel could have her baby tonight. We'll see, Clementine. What's this thing? Daddy said it's called a salt lick. Yeah, but don't lick it. It's gross. Did you lick it? I don't know. <laughs> uh, that's great. Hey there, Andy. Yeah. We met this woman up in the woods. She seemed to know your brother. Uh, yeah, he, uh, he probably talks a little more than he ought to. Um, when do you think, uh, we might eat? Hungry, huh? <laughs> Don't worry. Mama's cooking up some good grub. How's the cow? Well, better now we got Doc on the case. Thanks. Yep. How do you like that cow, Clint? She's pretty. Here, Clementine. My hat! You found it! I knew you'd find it. You said you would. Listen, did you give your hat to anyone? No. Did you see any strangers around the motor inn who might have taken it? No. Why? It's probably nothing. Just let me know if you ever see anything like that. Okay, I will. Hey, Lee, do you think you'll ever have kids? I'd like to someday. Maybe a little girl like you. That's nice. You'd be a good daddy. Well, thanks for Bitch, finding I'm already my hat. a daddy. You're welcome, Clem. 
Do you want to pet the cow with me? Slick daddy. Nah, but you go on ahead. Have I missed anything? No, not really. Hmm, it smells funny in here. Like manure. What's manure? Duty. <laughs> Kids. You know, I didn't like his little Beavis and Butthead laugh that he did. It's a little uncomfortable for me. Everything about Duck is uncomfortable. You found it too, huh? Lee, they're hiding something behind this door. I got a quick look. They got boxes of stuff and something metal and sharp. Don't get paranoid. It's my job to be paranoid, Lee. I got my whole family on this farm right now. How about you? What about Clem? I'll protect her no matter what. I know you will. Look, that guy with Katya, what's his name? He locked it up real tight the second we came in. I definitely heard a noise back there, Lee. What? My point is we gotta know for sure. So go find a hammer or something and I'll have this thing off in a second. You back me up in case them farmers come running. Hang on, man. Think this through. You smash the lock. Then what if it turns out you're wrong? You just fucked your chance to get a good meal in those kids you're trying to protect. Use your head, Kenny. All right, Professor, what'd you have in mind? Let me have a look at what we're dealing with first. Hey, Lee, you know how to pick a lock, right? No, why would you say that? Well, you're, you know, urban? Oh, you are not saying what I think you're saying. Jesus, man, I'm from Florida. Crazy shit just comes out of my mouth sometimes. Sorry. <laughs> uh. Hmm. What? See those screws? Instead of breaking the padlock, we can just take off the assembly, have a peek inside, and then replace it all again like nothing ever happened. All right. Sounds like you got a plan. I'll hang around and keep an eye on that guy with the cow. Andy. Shit, I, th I thought that was Danny. Whatever. Can I help you boys find something? What's behind this door, Andy? Just tools. We keep it locked so the people in the woods don't try and grab them. Uh, we'd be dead without them. Hey, uh, do me a favor. Don't fuck around with this door, okay? Just, you know, mama gets nervous. Andrew, I need your help again. No problem. Right away, Doc. So, how does a woman like yourself run this whole place? Oh, I manage just fine. Plus, I have my boys to help out. I couldn't do it without them. Uh, okay, let me talk a bit. Um, so... I have another story of how everything in my life is just breaking right now. So my controller somehow got tangled on my broken ass chair, which I have no understanding of how that happened. Um, because like I, I have a wired controller. And uh, fell flat on its face, broke the X button, broke the right stick as far as I can tell to some extent. Like it still works, I can still like aim with it, but it's uh... Yeah, it's uh, kind of fucked, and the X button doesn't respond every one twenty times. So, uh, yeah, I don't use that. Uh, I don't use that controller anymore. I'm gonna have to try and open it up and fix it, which is just delightful. We'll uh, we'll finish talking later. You been getting along with Larry? <laughs> he just a big old sweetheart, ain't he? Uh, don't know if I would have used those words exactly. 
Don't judge, honey. This world is bringing out the worst in people. But if you really look, you'll catch a glimpse of humanity every now and then. How's Mark doing in there? Best patient I ever had. Oh, my boys get so much as a scratch and start hollering. He could definitely teach them a thing or two about being tough. I'd still like to check on him. You're gonna have to trust me on this, Lee. I've helped stitch my share of wounds. I know what I'm talking about. So, what are y'all keeping the barn back there? Besides cows, I mean. Well, someone's getting a little curious, aren't they? I don't mean to pry. It's nothing interesting, I can promise you that much. Just some odds and ends. Takes a lot to run a farm, you know. We ran into some trouble out there. I was just glad you two weren't hurt. Those bandits just don't know when to quit. But my boys, they can hold their own. Before she died, we met a woman out there at her camp. She wasn't one of those bandits. Sounded like they did something pretty bad to her. And your marauders are still out there. I think all them folks out the woods had drug problems. What does that have to do with anything? Means you can't trust them. Any of them. Think I'll go have a look around. Kinda peaceful out here, ain't it? Enjoy it while you can. You'll probably start hearing those monsters frying against the fence before too long. <laughs> does, does she have any dialogue that connects? Like, I feel like it's all just, like, random shit. Just, like, the most random dialogue. Oh, uh, hello, Danny. Super trustworthy, hello. Danny. You guys are pretty out in the sticks here. Hard to find. You get many visitors? Not anymore. Bandits, of course. Used to get these school kids on tours back before the dead time. How do you run this place with just one cow? Used to have more. They get hungry too. Or sick. Got your doctor friend here now, though. You guys must trade for a lot of fuel to keep the generators running, right? People get hungry, and a few loaves of bread fetch a high price. Y'all are luckier on this side of the deal now. You really like that gun. What's not to like? Just kinda creepy, that's all. Times like these, a 243 will keep you warmer at night than any lady I ever known. I'm gonna go wait for supper then. It'll be a good one. Completely trustworthy. Nothing concerning about Danny at all. No. No creepy gun fetish or secret sex lips there. Give me this thing. I'm just gonna borrow this for a second. Guess I'm gonna need a screwdriver for this. Hmm. Guess I'm gonna need a screwdriver. Oh god damn it, I clicked this. the wrong button. There you go. <clears throat> that thing is on too tight for my bare hands. There, that should do it. Fucking Danny, where do you find this piece of shit? Oh, fucking thing through a belt. Damn it, all. Ah, oh, son of a fuck. Oh, this take bird. <laughs> Wait, that that dialogue did not match the uh, subtitles, like at all. Up something I think could help with the lock. Nothing to stop you now. Mom, Dad! 
Dad, dinner time! It's dinner time! Okay, honey, let's get that. Dad! Dad! Come on! Let's eat! Kenny, come along, honey. God, I hate Kenny, everything come on. about Don't Dutch. Don't make the children wait. I hate I'll make him an excuse so much. For you. Get that thing off. Didn't you hear the bell? Really Dinner don't time. like how he said boy right there. What the hell you got in that back room? Look, we have food here, but Danny and I still got to do a lot of hunting to keep everyone fed. When we catch something in the woods, we skin it and dress it back there. Mama doesn't like us to make a mess in the house. So you see, nothing to worry about. You know what? That seems like a perfectly valid explanation. Completely valid. <laughs> oh, Brenda, you wow. are an angel. Oh, Excuse boy. a mess. We had to block the back door after a walker got upstairs. Don't worry. That was a while ago and I ain't been back inside since. Everybody sit down. Now go get the meal. Oh, this is a delight. I could eat a horse. Where's Mark? Now, don't you worry about him. I've already brought some food up. You just let him rest. Mind if I wash my hands first? Bathroom's right outside in the hall. And be sure to get under your nails. You've been mucking around in the dirt all day. Nope, nothing suspicious at all here. Seems like a completely normal place to put a bookshelf. Is that blood? No, I never noticed that blood there before. Exciting stuff. Oh wow, no quick time event. Nice. Go 
don't need that! Huh? Lee, Jesus, man. Did you find something? Aw, oh, sit your ass down, Lee. This lady has made you a meal. Yeah, Lee, what's gotten into you? Oh, you God, look at Doc just shoveling it down. They use some goddamn manners. You're eating human meat. That's crazy. What the hell? Ridiculous. I'm scaring the kids, Lee. Lee, what the hell is wrong with you? Don't indulge him, Lily. There's always something with this guy. Mom, I was eating that. Quiet. What is going on? We need to get the kids and everyone out of here. We need to go now. Everything could have turned out okay for you folks. He would have died anyway. We got to think about living. Settle down, honey. Growing up in rural Georgia, you're taught not to waste. It's how I was raised and how I raised my boys. Now, you got monsters roaming around that do nothing but eat people. And for what? To continue to rot till they eat some more. We think we can put that meat to better use. You're all sick. Sick in the head. Lee, that's not a very nice thing to imply. He didn't really imply Andy it. is just right. Said we it. go after folks who were gonna die anyways, one way or another. Mark had a minor wound. Like y'all. Kenny, get your gun! Kenny, no! Nobody's going anywhere! We got lots of use for y'all right here. What the fuck? The fucking black Put fuck. your guns down! We're walking you out of go here! Near my fucking Mommy, family. I don't want to die. Mommy, what did I eat? Everyone, everything will be okay! Lee? Lee? I'll tear you apart! Did God damn it! If you hadn't dragged your feet, come on, Dad. Now's not the time. You okay, Clementine? They—they they didn't hurt you, did they? Mm -mm. Open up, Lee. Those psychos have my family, and we're stuck in a damn meat locker. We gotta get the fuck out of here. This goddamn film sucker was the one who brought us here. Will you all just shut the fuck up? I'm scared. Don't be. It's gonna be okay. I'm gonna find us a way out of here. You're worse than the walkers! Dad, please! Hmm. Please settle down! I'll, I'll break that damn door down! Dad, you can't get- uh, uh, Easy! Uh, oh, God. Dad? <gasps> no! Dad, come on! Dad! Oh, God. He stopped breathing. I think he's had a heart attack. Shit. Is he dead? He's not dead! Somebody help me! Fuck. If he's dead... He's not dead! You know what has to happen, Lee. Think about it. Why is the audio increase right there hotel? just randomly out of nowhere? What are you saying? Lily, I'm sorry. I truly, truly am. But in a few minutes, we're gonna be stuck in a locked room with a six foot four, 300 pound, seriously pissed off dead guy. Fuck you! We can bring him back! Lee! We'll mourn him later. But right now, we have to keep him from coming back. No! God damn it, Kenny! He is not dead! Maybe you're right. No, god damn it! My dad survived worse than this! 
Look, Kenny, back at the drugstore when we all thought Duck was bitten. I gave him the benefit of the doubt. Maybe we should do the same now. That was different. Duck wasn't bitten. But come on, we know this guy's not gonna make it. Remember what Ben said. Gotta destroy the brain. Come on, Lee, I'm right about this. I know you've got my back. You always do. God damn it, Lee, I need you! Please help me! Come on, Dad. Come on. You're right, Kitty. Let's get you this over. You fucking monsters! Both of you! I don't want to see! I'm sorry, Lily. No, no, no! It's the only way. <laughs> get off me! Don't do this! No! Ah, uh, God, quick time no. events. Let go of me! No! Please! was dead, Clementine. But what if he wasn't? He was, I, I promise. Shh. I know. I know. But you gotta be strong right now. I need you to be strong. Think about something else. Something hopeful. Like what? How about your walkie-talkie? Those pretend talks with your mom and dad, don't those make you feel better? Sometimes... We're gonna get out, right? You found a way out? I'm working on it. Get away. I just need to... I told you to get the fuck away! There ought to be an air duct behind this unit. Maybe big enough for one of us to fit through. I don't know, Lee. Seems like a long shot. Does the air conditioner come off? I think I could take it off if I had something to remove the screws. The multi-tool. Of course they took it. Shit. Maybe there's something else we could use. I've got a rock. Ah, a rock won't help. But a coin might do the trick. Do you have a coin? Uh-uh. -uh. Lily, I'm, I'm sorry. Don't talk to me, Lee. Don't fucking talk to me. And don't look at me either. What do you want me to do? Never mind. I think I may have found a way out of here. But I need something to remove the screws on the air conditioner. If you had something I could use as a screwdriver, a coin or something. No. What about him? Look, I know this is a terrible time for it, but uh, back at the motor inn, Larry, Larry mentioned something about keeping coins in his pockets. In other words, my father's more useful to you dead than alive. If he was alive, Kinda. had the key to getting us out of here, do you think he'd keep it to himself? What do you want? My blessing to loot his corpse? Your yep. permission. <sighs> do what you have to do. Oh, boy. Uh, any idea which pocket he keeps his change in? You fucking vulture! Here we go. Two quarters. And a dime. these screws and get this unit off. It's not coming off that way. You got it? Yeah. One more should do it.
there's our way out, Lee. Clementine can fit through. Looks like it'll probably lead right into that back room. I know you're brave enough. I'm scared. Remember the treehouse? You held out for days. And I saved your life. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <sighs> okay. You're gonna be fine. What do I do when I get out? See if you can get to the other side of that door and open it. Didn't even get to say goodbye. Get in here. I got an idea. Stay here. Take care of Lily, okay? I will. something up with this room. It's a goddamn human slaughterhouse. No, the room seems great. I don't see the problem with it. So what's the plan? That dumbass is so caught up in his own rant that we could probably sneak right up on him. Just stick behind me in case anything goes down. When we get to the front, grab his gun. Sounds good. Okay, you ready? Yeah, let's go. Stay close. outside the barn. Oh, shit. Just guarding the place, like you said. Uh, quit sitting out in the rain like a damn deer. What's he doing out there? Mama says we I can't keep that know. many folks alive and not expect trouble. Pick one to keep and kill the rest. We'll take him out together. How? He doesn't know we're out. Kid. He's got to walk we'll past us to get to the trade locker. We can take him out when his back is to us. See what he's doing now. Oh, I know, Mabel. This hey, is my favorite keep your eye on too. When I let one think they can just walk right out, <laughs> they never even look down. Lee, focus. Where's Danny? He's inside, but he's not coming any closer. See where he is now. Tell me what's going on. I don't see him anymore. Where the fuck did he go? I don't know. Look again. He didn't go past us. See where he is now. Oh, right there. Where's my family, asshole? You can't have them. We need the vet. No! Can't! Lee, come on! Just go. I won't be far behind. Ah! 
You see? You understand now, don't you? You can have me. It's how the world works now. Give part of yourself so others can live. Cannibalism is not the answer. Aren't the walkers eating enough of us? You gotta keep me alive. If you kill me, the meat gets tainted. You can't eat it. You're already tainted. Do it then. I know you can. I see. Ah! This is not how the world works now. You won't make me kill you. Fuck you. Uh, Lily. You and what? Kenny murdered my dad and you leave this piece of shit alive? Fucking ass. Oh, there's a oh God, magic, don't hurt invisible him. gun. Gotcha. Please, no! Lily, please, keep her safe. Where's that coming from? Dog? Ah! Dog. Dog. What the hell was that? Morse code. You almost blinded me. I'm sorry about that, but I did get your attention. We heard screams from the barn. What's going on? These people are fucking crazy. I knew it. I told you we couldn't trust them. Where is everybody? What can we do to help? Larry's dead. They chopped off Mark's legs and tried to feed them to us. Jesus, that's sick. They've still got Duck and Katja in the house, and I don't know where the fuck Kenny is. All right, we're coming in to help. No. If we storm the house, we'll cause a panic. You two try to find a way around to the back. I'll head to the front. You got it. Come on, this way. Wait, are you sure? Yes. No. Yes. No, no, please, no, no, no! Bitch, shut up, and you'll be fine. Oh, no. I'm gonna take the boy and check around No, please don't take my boy! Let's go, woman. Andy? Danny, is that you? What's going on out there? I left Danny in the bar. He got what he deserved. Now you know you don't want to do this. Just go away and leave us be. Stop right there, I mean it. Think about what you do. It doesn't have to end like this. A killer, Lee. Just let me go. Oh, hi, Mark. Brenda. Please, listen to him. I'll do it! Please. I don't want to kill you, Lee! Please don't make this any worse. 
Just stop! this on yourself. No, uh-uh, you did this. All we wanted was a little gas to keep ourselves safe. Is that all you got, Lee? <laughs> you ain't shit! It's over! Fuck you! As soon as Danny Mama get out here, you, you all fucked! <laughs> They're both dead. What did you do? What the fuck did you do? Don't you dare walk away from me, Lee! Get back here and finish this, Lee! Me like a man, Lee. Lee. They're getting in. Lee. Let's go. Hey, Lee. I'm sorry for leaving the motor in unattended. 
I never thought a laser pointer would be the thing that saved our lives. Don't worry about it. Were they really chopping up people? For food? Yeah. And Clementine almost ate some. Man, that is sick. Clementine, she doesn't know, right? She didn't see or... I stopped her. This fucking world now. Tied in just unspeakable shit at every turn. Ugh. Were you guys able to salvage anything good from the dairy? Not really. St. John's took everything I had before the place got completely overrun with walkers. Oh, I was able to grab a couple of your things back while uh, Brenda wasn't looking. It doesn't work. You have any use for it, Doug? It's just a basic camcorder. A save lot's cheapy. Let me check it out, see if I can get it working. <sighs> How are you doing? I'll be fine. I'm just not as young as I used to be. Hun, go on ahead and give me and Lee a second. There's gonna be fallout. For killing Lily's dad? Yeah, I would imagine so. What do you think? I'm with you, Kenny. We'll do what has to be done. You're damn right. Listen, that RV back at the motor inn is just about ready to roll. I want you to come with us. I mean it. Okay. Yeah. Come on, Clementine. Stay close. Hey, she just walked through that rock. Those That's bad amazing. People dead? We didn't kill them, so I don't know. They might have been able to get away from the walkers, but I'm sure they won't be coming after us. That's good. Hey, Dad. What's that noise? Sounds like a car. Oh god, not more strangers. Don't shoot! We're here to help! Figures. Oh, crap! Baby, you gotta see this. There's a shitload of food and supplies back here. This food could save all of us. Not all of us. <sighs> Look, we don't know if these people are dead. If they come back, then we're just monsters who came out of the woods and ruined their lives. This stuff isn't ours. Dad, whose car is it? Don't worry about that, Duck. It's ours now. It's abandoned, Ducky. Don't worry. What if it's not? Well, what if it's not abandoned? What if it is someone's? You're right. We shouldn't take this. What? Did you get some meal back there the rest of us missed out on? We have to take this stuff. We've done enough damage already. What do you mean by that? Come on, Kenny. Between this and the meat locker, you know what it means. Fine. Suit yourself. The rest of us are taking this stuff. Okay. What have we got in here? Look, there's more food in that box. They have antibiotics. What else do they have? Any electronics? Radios? Batteries? Here. <laughs> got it? Yeah, I got it. Lee, there's a hoodie in here. Could probably fit Clementine.
She's good. Thanks. Whatever, man. It's gonna get cold out eventually. Here, Clem. Want some, uh, batteries? Hey, Lee. You know that camcorder? I got it working. You might want to see this. Sweetheart, we won't let them bandits get you, will we? No. Okay. Where's your hat? I don't know. Can you help me find it? Sure. When did you lose Damn, it? that's a strong camcorder I microphone. A ago. I promise. If I'm thinking it, you're I'll safe. You know. Did, did there Ben and Duck my just teleport? The way they used to be. The dead don't kill their own. It's the living you got to be afraid of. The people I used to call friends. The people who took... Don't worry, little girl. Bandits got their eye on that dairy. As long as they keep getting food from them, you'll be safe. I promise. <laughs> 